Hey guys, Rhett here, what's going on? Just leaving a business meeting here in Nashville with one of my clients, Klaus, and we got into a, a big discussion about seller financing. Um, I wanted to, uh, I literally just left the meeting and I have some immediate thoughts I wanted to talk about because seller financing and questions about seller financing, I get literally every single day. And there's a couple things and, and misconceptions about seller financing that um, are not always as broadcasted, um, especially around uh, two things. Number one, scalability. Now, seller financing is when you don't get a mortgage for a property uh, through a traditional bank or lender and you don't pay cash for the property, you deal with the seller of the property. So the seller of the property, basically what they do is they create an agreement with you or a mortgage with you uh, and you pay them. So they sign the house over to you and then you pay them for, for the property. So in that situation, in order to get seller financing deals, you are constantly reaching out to, to sellers. You're constantly reaching out to sellers, you're reaching out to agents, asking if properties are available for seller financing. It really is um, a time-consuming process and a process that takes a lot of energy. When we invest in real estate, the reason a lot of you guys are wanting to build these portfolios, especially Section 8, we wanna get away from being extremely active, don't we? Seller financing, we're on the phone. We are constantly making phone calls to people trying to make these things work. And on top of that, thousands of people all looking in the same markets for seller financing, you have sellers who are just getting blown up. Will you do seller financing? Will you do seller financing? Will you do seller financing? I'm starting to see on listings, people specifically stating no seller financing which means they're getting phone calls over and over and over again from people who are asking them, hey, will you do seller financing? Will you do seller financing? So number one, it is, it's, it's very hard to land a seller financing deal. So say for instance, we make 400, 500 phone calls, we finally find a seller finance deal, uh, a seller financer who's willing to finance the property through them and hope be the mortgage holders. In that instance, how do we scale? Do we have to make another 500 phone calls to find another seller who's willing to do seller financing? We must. Not a great way to scale. The more houses that you find and the bigger your portfolio gets, the easier this should be to add properties, not harder. And then lastly, my biggest issue with it is like a time like right now, for example, if I'm an owner of a, of a property that's doing seller financing, Financially, me selling my property through seller financing is not a good option. A lot of people push seller financing and say, oh, well, you can put down $2,000, $3,000 and uh, finance it with the seller at 3 4%. Why would they ever do that? If I have a $100,000 property, I can sell my property for hundred grand. I can take the $100,000 and put it in treasury bills at 5% and loan the money back to the government and get my money back in six months at 5% interest. It doesn't make sense for me to take a risk, give it to, to a person um, who might not make the payments where the money's not guaranteed and get 3% or 4%. So you guys need to understand the, the entire piece of this, how it works, and in order to understand what you wanna do and how you wanna build your portfolio, you need to understand everything that goes into that. You need to understand, okay, is it scalable? Not extremely. Uh, is it passive? It's the opposite of passive. And is it a actual viable option based on the dynamic rate market that we're in? So ask those questions and, and uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of seller financing. I don't love it, it's not scalable. I have clients ask me about it all the time. We try to avoid it, now we do it if it's our only option, but um, not, if, uh, not if we have a choice. So guys, it's not as easy as you think it is. And um, any questions, please drop them below. Comments, please drop them below. Uh, this is a very impromptu video, but I'm getting more and more questions about seller financing and the conversation I just had with a client of mine. I, I wanna really make it clear that seller financing and scaling with seller financing is more of a pipe dream than it is a reality. So if you wanna do this the right way, guys, 
and you want to do something scalable that's actually passive, it's not through seller financing. Please leave your questions, comments below. I'll get to all of them and we'll see you next time.